Alright guys, <clears throat> what I'm going to be showing you today is how to make a basic skybox. Um, what we do first is just make a little 256 by 256 sector here. This will just be our room. Uh, this can be the window. And uh, the traditional skybox requires using like the sky texture and uh, pretty much setting it to like a zero so that there's actually like a, a missing texture and all that and it just gives the appearance of the window being there but with ZDoom and Hex in format it's pretty much obsolete so I don't use that method anymore but uh... set this up, prime it and then this is going to be our actual uh, our actual window so we're going to want to uh, set this up with uh, grass and all that and, uh, Now we've got this set up, but uh, you know we don't want to see these shitty walls or nothing. So uh, before I set these to have their horizon, which I've showed you how to do in other videos, um, let's just make our skybox. This is just going to be uh, yay big, and I'm going to set this up in here because what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to give these a mountain texture to them. You see what you can do is, uh, actually, you know what I'll do is I'll just show you how to make, like, uh, some basic, uh, cliffs and such. Just gonna add some random, uh, vertices here. Just pull these in and out. Just to get the effect going. And what I'll do is I'll go over here into our uh, skybox room. Set these to the sky texture, obviously. Uh, I like to raise these up to like 256 because you want your skybox to create the the effect of uh, you know size because the whole sense of scale is is what makes it you know seem like an outdoor area not just this tiny little sector here you know we'll just give this some lame rock texture Okay, so we've got our, our basic little cliffs going here, and then uh, you can set these to whatever you want because they're going to be horizon, but uh, just go in here, and we just set this to uh, camera's interpolation, skybox viewpoint, and uh, then we can just drag this sector out. Set these to line horizon. Now, as you can see, there's our you know skybox. Now, obviously, that texture is not supposed to be there, but you can set those top uh, line depths in your skybox to have the horizon effect as well. is what I'll do right now real quick. Okay. So now when we go into this. See those top textures are gone. And we have a nice cavern. Uh, you know, I mean you can you can <coughs> you can add as much detail as you can. <coughs> to your uh, to your skybox but uh... there's actually a lot of really nifty tricks you can do with them to uh... create a lot of different effects um, i'm just gonna add in some uh... 
some stalag stalagmites in here. And <clears throat> since uh, the viewpoint is in a smaller room than an actually larger area, see they appear much larger. So you can actually get some, some decent effects out of placing objects in there. Now, <laughs> if you put an enemy in there, like let's say a cyber demon, he's going to be fucking massive. And, uh, I don't know, you might be able to use that to your advantage. I mean, if you wanted to make it seem like there was an epically huge fucking cyber demon that you had to fight, I mean, you could put him in your skybox. You just gotta make sure you place him far enough away uh, from the actual map so he doesn't, you know, hear the player shooting and get alerted and start walking around like a douchebag. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a very simple trick, but... You know, if you put the time and effort into it, you can make a really, really detailed uh, skybox. Um, actually, if you want, I can, I'll show you one real quick that I'm working on in, in one of my uh, maps that I'm making right now. This is just a, uh, this is a classic, I'm making it Doom 1 styled uh, map. Uh, this room's incomplete. But this here, this switch raises this door and it's just a, uh, see this little flashlight on the ground. It doesn't actually go anywhere because you can't go in there, but um... The skybox itself is out here, and as you can see, I've got, you know, levels and levels of these cliffs, and I've got the UAC doors and everything in here. I've got this little building off the side. Um, let me just show you real quick in game. See the kind of effect that you can that you can give with uh, skyboxes. Um, uh, that ain't it. That's the camera. Here we go. And you can see out here, um, you can see the, the building and everything. You can see the doors up on the up on the cliffs and the stalagmites. It's actually pretty nifty. Yeah, I don't want to be invincible. There we go. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot you can do with, uh, with skyboxes. But, I mean, as you can see, like, I made mine much larger, uh, to really get that effect of scale. And then I just made the little buildings, the doors, and the lighting, and all that separately. Placed the stalagmites around, and, again, there's the skybox viewpoint. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a relatively simple trick to do. Uh, but if you put in the effort, you can really make, uh, a nice effect. So, uh, you know, let me know how it goes. Shoot me a comment or a message.